Now, Bengaluru South will be a constituency which the Bharatiya Janata Party, while has been winning since 1989, in 2019, the Saffron Party had fielded a young face. He also emerged victorious and this time again, Bharatiya Janata Party is trusting Tejasvi Surya, the incumbent member of parliament, for the same. But he will now also face sitting Karnataka Minister Ramalinga Reddy's daughter, Soumya Reddy. So here's a ground report by India Today's Sagai Raj. He's tracking all the developments from Bengaluru South constituency. It's a high-profile, posh constituency and one that's a high stake for both the Jaswi Surya of the BJP and for the Congress Party. One of the most interesting battles in Karnataka is in Bengaluru. The battle for Bengaluru South is between BJP's Tejasvi Surya and Congress's Soumya Reddy. This constituency is also known as a BJP bastion. The last time Congress won from this constituency was way back in 1989. Hello and welcome to South Bengaluru, which is popularly known as Old Bengaluru. A BJP bastion since 1991 from BJP veteran Anand Kumar to Tejasvi Surya. Only Lotus has blossomed in this particular constituency. And this time, Congress is all set to plug the Lotus from South Bengaluru. Congress candidate Soumya Reddy is Karnataka Minister Ramalinga Reddy's daughter. The Congress party here enjoys cloud in three of the eight assembly segments. So I've been traveling nook and corner of Bengaluru South and um, people are um, blessing me and giving me their unconditional support. I really feel very, very grateful and overwhelmed with all their blessings. People lost faith in BJP and we have given five guarantees uh, right up to June 4th. You see the result. Are you confident, sir, that you are going? 100 percent. Okay. Tejasvi Surya, a lawyer by profession, emerged not just as one of the youngest candidates, but also as a firebrand leader of the party. He has quoted many controversies, including the recent alleged hate speech at Bengaluru's Nagrath Pate that prompted the cops to register an FIR. People say that you are targeting one particular community, even in Nagat Pate, uh, there are allegations that you were trying to incite communal violence there. You saw on CCTV camera how an innocent shopkeeper who was playing Hanuman Chalisa within the precincts of his shop was by a mob brought out and thrashed open in daylight. The state government interferes and does not allow for FIR to be registered. I go and stand in his defense, ask for the FIR to be registered, for justice to be given. Is this communal? In the last one year alone, so people are looking at Modi because Modi stands for maker of developed India. And the Bangalore South has always voted for Bharti Anta Party. This time also they're going to make the Jasmine Surya win. So, a lot of uh, people, a lot of fan following for you. How is your campaign going on? Very well. You should uh, get the energy of the crowd once. Bharat Mata Ki! Bharat Mata Ki! So, there are a lot of leaders came for your uh, nomination day. Yes. And how do you see the response uh, uh, from the ground as well as uh, from your leadership support? Saga, you were there that day. Yes. It was a weekday. On a Thursday morning, there were close to 12, 13,000 people who had assembled here to bless me on a nomination day. Voluntarily people had come. That's the kind of support, that's the kind of love that Prime Minister Narendra Modi enjoys in Bengaluru South. Since 1991, Bengaluru South has been a bastion of BJP, especially a powerhouse to send top leaders like Anand Kumar to Tejasvi Surya in the Lok Sabha elections. And his opposition, Soumya Reddy, who is also riding on the five guarantees of Congress as well as her father's popularity in the constituency. Who will be victorious? 
Only the time will tell us. Vithi Rajal Ismadu Sagairaj reporting from Bengaluru South for India Today.